Welcome back everybody to episode 5 of our let's play of Black Book. We finished the last time after we were able to obtain the name for the little changeling. Uh, I say little, she's 18 years at least, but um, for the changeling we've received the name from the local priest after we uh, agreed to a deal where we went out and uh, visited a field that was plagued by dryness and uh, as um, as coincidence would have it it was of course plagued by a demon in fact um, we were given an option either to take the demon into our service or well to fight him and we opted for the latter which was so far the toughest of the card battles that we encountered um, but Long story short, we won, uh, were successful, and we are now back at our grandfather's Isba uh, at his hut and informed him of the news that the name for the girl will be Matriona. A fitting name. You did the right thing sorting out that demon. Won't spoil any good crops anymore. All you need to find now is a cross and a belt. This is, by the way, a good example of what I've mentioned in the previous episodes, where if you save, you kind of start again at the location you last entered, and it looks like even if you progressed in the dialogue, it doesn't take that into account and you have to start at the beginning again. But luckily this time around it wasn't too much. So we have two tasks left. One is getting a cross and the other one is getting a belt for the changeling. Um, I think we're just gonna tackle them now in order because I don't... There's no indication for me to say that one would be easier or, or harder than the other. So I don't think it's... Yeah, I don't think it makes a difference either way. Mm, yeah, let's just go with option one and start with the cross. Then I'll start with the cross. What could be more important? In Yalidor, you'll find Evdokia for Kovna. They say her daughter was possessed by Ikota. Yanidor is a village north of Chardin, and Ikota is a man possessed by a demon called an Ikota. Such people have strange abilities and, in some cases, the gift of divination. I have to admit I don't know what divination is or means. Um, I'll probably look that up later. So. Did you get all that? Ikota, Yanido, got it. Let's just click on Ikota. Who is that Ikota? Come on, don't you remember? This one time, a woman from Boksha came to us so that we could whisper some Zagabors over her. And then a short size of a Vashok escaped from her. Vashok is an archaic Russian unit of length equal to approximately 4.4 centimeters. The saying that a man is 12 Vershok high means that his height is 2 Arshins and 12 Vershoks, which is about 2 meters. I think we've seen this explanation before. But yeah, I think that will happen a couple of times because, yeah, no way I'm going to remember all of them. Oh, so that was an Ikotnitsa. Well, yes, this Ikota chart talked with us for a bit, remember? New Encyclopedia. Let's have a look. This ailment, induced by a cold on or a bitch, is representative of the Russian North, specifically the Cherdin Uizit and Komi Perm region. An evil spirit is enchanted with word power, bound to a name and cast into the wind. The first person it encounters who bears his name who bears this name becomes its victim. Sometimes stones or insects are enchanted with Ikota. In this way, whoever happens to trip over the stone or swallows the insect by accident suffers Ikota. Ikota usually takes the appearance of an animal, a frog, a lizard, or a mouse. Occasionally, it takes the form of a frog spawn, and more rarely, an insect, like a fly, a spider, or a mosquito. It is not, however, always brought on by a cauldron. It may pass from a cauldron to any man in the event of the former's death. When inside a person, Ikota can speak with all kinds of voices. Alright, now it makes sense. If he's talking about the man being possessed by it. What do we have here? Oh, it looks like two of our own shorts are done with their tasks already. We'll get to this in a minute. Let's continue our conversation with our grandfather. 
Hmm. I really don't like dealing with the possessed. Who does? <laughs> well, nothing can be done about that. So, did you get all that? Let's see if he has anything else to say about Yanido. Where can we find that woman in Yanido? Her house is closer to the edge of the village. The one with carved gates. So did you get all that? Okay, hm, not much more. Got it. What not to get? Go to the Egonitsa and take a cross. Alright. Simple as pie, right? Nikolai. We should tell everyone about the shorts we've met. You know, to warn the good people, right? Everyone knows, but not everyone believes. Let's talk about the cross. How did you end up with a cross? Oh, it's nothing. Yeah, right. There's no such thing as a cross with no story behind it. All right, then, I'll tell you. We were near a town, Plevna it's called. There was a real massacre there. Did you encounter any chords there? Worse. The cannon fire was so loud that all the chords fled, if there were any. It seems they all fled here, to the north. So, there was this redoubt ahead of us. Couldn't take it. Redoubt? Well, it's a kind of fortress. No one could get any closer. And what about you? being such a gallant lad. Hey, no jokes. Listen, I think God helped me. I went from the side and then found some barrels full of gunpowder and lit them. They blew up, started a fire. There was a lot more ammunition there. A lot of our enemies burned that day. I can still hear their screams. I suppose I will to the end of my days. I nearly died there myself. Since then, when I see a fire, I remember that redoubt and those screams. I fished the cross from the river of blood, Vasya. Are you happy now? Now do you understand about the fire? Ah. Okay. What are your future plans? What are you going to do with your new bride? Well, we'll get a farm. We'll get folks from a village to help. Well now, I'll build an excellent isba. And children, eventually. What a life it will be. Be careful though. Who knows, the bunnik may be back. That's good. The mother-in-law is always welcome. <laughs> it seems that yours is the fiercest of them all. Okay, he seems to be taking it relatively well. Alright then. See you later. Let's go. We'll talk later. Grandpa has more to say. Old houses and banyas are often home to demons. The masters leave, but don't always take their whole spirits with them. Oh. New dialogue options to find out more about him. Let's hear it. You've been telling me how you got your Koldun power. Right. Where were we? So. I became a shepherd boy. He taught me this and that, at first, that Prokopi Pui. That one time, the cattle had wandered all over the place, and my chief turned up drunk. Drank a whole bottle of vodka, he couldn't move a muscle. Well, what other choice did I have? I went to collect them by myself. Managed to get almost all of them as midnight drew near. Had to pass Mikhail's crossroads on the way back. You know how that place is. So, there I am, with the cattle tagging along. The moment I stepped onto the crossroads, everything turned upside down. Winds out of nowhere, and, what do you know, swarms of chorts. Figured I'd quickly draw a circle around me, and so I did. And these chorts were just swarming on the edge of the circle. All sorts, you name it. Well, I think that's it. Everything turned out alright, as you see. Next time, I'll tell you how I got out of it. Okay. Ooh, we can talk about the Obderika again. What sorts of spirits are those panics? Masters of the bathhouse, like Susetgo in an Isba. Oh yeah, the house spirit. Yeah, we've read about those ones before as well. 
I don't think it wasn't an ordinary place, the Banya, before the worship of God. What do you mean, before God? I mean that our ancestors used to worship the spirits of the earth. Some Perm people still call upon En or Voipel. God Demiurge in Komi Permian mythology and a god in Komi Permian mythology. The name is translated as North Wind. <laughs> Let's talk later. And last but not least, we have a visitor. Oh, hello, young lad. Get out of here, you meddling kids, or you'll get it. Run! He saw us! <laughs> Wait, maybe they're here on business. Well, speak up. Huh. Oh, Vasilisa, we saw such a scary thing. West of Yanidor, there's a scary Isba. Evil spirits live there for sure. Why do you say that? See for yourself. They say there used to be a party every day, but now it stands as silent as the grave. Saw it for ourselves. You will wind up in graves yourself if you go wandering like that. Run! Okay. That was a bit of an odd dialogue, but let's see. Okay, before we set out, so we have a couple of options again. Which is nice, and I guess this is our bigger goal, Yanido. Let's see what we can do with our jolts. So he's clearly done. The demon flies like a fiery snake around the area. Peasants think that it is a bad omen and prepare for the worse. Take the reward. Oh, we've made some nice coin. A swarm of rats eats all of the stored goods of a peasant family. Sorry. Guess we have to give them a new task again. Six and three, six and four, six and two, six and three. That sounds good. Six and two. Eight and four, eight and three. Five and one is even better. He's always one one additional sin. How annoying. What is it here? Two, five and two, five. Let's do this then. Send him here. Send him here. At least it's three days, so should keep him op occupied for a little while. And Salem. Oh yeah, that was the item we received after our long card battle the last time round. The stems are tied in a knot and dusted with ashes, salt, fresh grave soil, eggshells and steam grains. Strengthens the status of waste plus two. Ooh. That seems like a good item to have. Gain eloquence. Battle start. Increases well versed effect of black pages for one. No, we'll keep that one. This one is also really good. Herbs and Ealing Zogger was restore plus one. And plus five. Ah, oh, we need this last slot. Ah. Oh. One of the items needed to rescue the girl. Oh yeah, that's the name. A name from the minologies you found in the Vilgar Church. Good, I think that's all. Shall we... Let's start with the fair. I heard that peddler set up a small fair. I think some of the traders are working even at this late hour. Let's have a look. At the crossroads of two trade routes, you see the annual fair. Despite the late hour, trading is still taking place. Perhaps you might buy something for your journey. A multitude of goods can be found. Prianix, as well as a variety of magic trinkets. There's something for everyone here. Traditional sweet baked goods. <laughs> How oh, nice music again. Let's take a look around. Herbalist, book merchant, peddler, and card players. We can ignore the card players, but those three. And I think we definitely need some herbs because we're pretty much out of everything. You're not what we'd consider an average gal, are you? In that case, I'll show you some fine wares. Here, take a look. Bye. Yeah, we're completely out of feeling items. Hey, 
increases for adverse effect. Anything else? Remove harmful statuses. Oh, oh, but this. The problem with this one is it replenishes six, but we can't use any other herbs then for two turns. I just think it's too risky. And some of them are really good, as we saw in the last battle. Okay, let's see what the others have to sell. Book merchant. Be wise and go forth. Knowledge will serve as your daily bread. Oh, we can Oh we can reset our skills. It's expensive though, fifty ruble. We can buy Zagobors. Very nice. This is the first time we can actually buy one directly. Velvast Fierce. Amplifies its damage by two after each use of pages of the same name. By the way, I said last time that I could tell that, you know, some of those card effects, they really, they really amped up. I think otherwise we would have never been able to defeat that last demon, but I'm not clear on how all of those work. So I started to have a look around, good old Google, but I couldn't really find all that much information. Um, so yeah, I guess... We'll have to do a lot of learning as we go moving forward, and I fully, yeah, I fully expect that at some point we will encounter death one way or another. But let's see. Just wanted to mention this. Firmer than stone. Transacts of one turn affects other pages. This stuff, firm, fierce, well versed. I think those are always worth looking out for. This one is also a lot more expensive, but. I'm not going to purchase it because I feel I'm, I'm good on cards at the moment. Low prices, come and see for yourself. Buy some herbs and other goods I've brought for you from the woods. <laughs> oh, he has some image. He has this thing again, which strengthens waste. <sighs> we don't have more item slots. I really want this one. I think I said this before. What's this silver ring? You have to put a ring down and then make a wish so that your beloved would appear. Gain plus one eloquence on battle start, and eloquence increases well worst effect for one. Maklushka, it is hard to die with Maklushka. You have to give it to someone. Gain plus two vampirism on battle start, plus twelve hearts. Heals two when enemy loses health. Oh, this is strong. This is so strong. Deals two each turn, ignoring death. Applies on the first turn. Increases well burst of black pages. Plus four, three. What do we have here? Immunity to damage from spikes status. Increases piety. Increases shield value on pages for two. Wow, that's. Dang, that's nice. So that means bless would do four. The other one with A would do seven. Gain plus two bless on battle starts. Firm three. Your first Sagoba always has a lock page. Enemy attack steal minus one. It's not as good. Ailment five on the enemy. <laughs> and cannot use herbs. Same thing again. And the fact that he would be paying a lot of money for this, for example, also shows me that this is good in value. Same with the cards. Plus four. 150 heals too when enemy loses health. This is so nice. And we're only 20 ruble away from it. I wonder what this gives us. Hmm. Let me check something real quick. I want to see what we currently have in our items. Oh, we have everything in there. Applies 5 on the first turn, 3 on the first turn. So we already start with 8.
the only the only manus that I see is that it only gives us this at the beginning of the turn. So it's only really good for ones, whereas whereas this is useful in every single round. So I think I'm going to do that. I think I'm going to sell this. And I think I'm going to buy this. Alright. <laughs> We've pretty much spent all our money in just one go. And I have no idea whether that's even remotely a good decision or not. But we live and learn. Let's definitely make sure that it gets into a slot so we're actually using it. Okay. Let's head out to Turkan Road. Runs from Vilga to Yanido. I don't know the reason for the name. Nikolai says it was to honor the Turks. Okay. Well, let's go. You wander off course and walk onto the road more to the west than you had planned. You stumble upon a ragged man with rotten teeth and rotten eyes. You realize that it's a brigand. Traveling by night in Perm Gubernia is dangerous, and not only because of the evil spirits. The silence is broken by his hoarse voice. Let's talk. Hey, what do we have here? A girl or something? Right. I'll let you go if you give me all your money. Uh, no. No, I'm gonna... Well, I could... He's going to fight us anyway. I'm not gonna give him my money. Should I try Nicholas help? Let's try Nicholas help. Seems to me you can't see so well in the dark. I'm not traveling alone. Come on over here, brigand boy. I fought the Turks, went toe to toe with demons, but your kind is the filthiest of them all. Looking upon the tall soldier, the brigand loses his confidence. He backs away and runs into the woods. In a hurry, he dropped his pouch. <laughs> so he ends up giving us money. Nice, I like it. Gria, fierce, or firm. Let's go with fears. You go on your way. That's a perfect start, I'd say. Northern forest. We're gonna go left first, and then we're gonna head to the main target. Forest always dangerous both day and night. Each forest has its own master. Rarely do these masters welcome unwanted visitors. I guess we'll find out. Near a small forest creek, you find a grassy meadow. Among other vegetation, you see one beautiful flower. It's blood red and bright even in the moonlight. You come closer and tie its stem with a silver thread. With a swift pull, you now have a new valuable herb. Adam said, nice, brilliant. You take the herb and get ready to go on your way. House near Tarkanovka River. I heard about an old house west of Yanito from the local boys. Maybe I can find something worthwhile there. Fear branches poke into the empty windows of an abandoned hut. You're overcome by an unpleasant feeling. There's a good reason they call this place haunted. So we can step inside or leave the location. We're obviously gonna go and step inside. You squeeze into a slightly open door and clear away the cobwebs. It is dark and empty here. The dead silence gives you chills. You step inside the house and freeze in horror. Under the broken red corner, the most revered place in the house where all of the icons are placed, lies a dead man's body. A broken accordion lies nearby, torn as if by a wild beast. You search the dead man and the isba. The former has a pouch with some rubles inside. Take the money, inform the nearby village, or inform the village and give money for funeral. Okay. You teleport the dead man in the nearby village and use the money to pay for his burial and a funeral service. Peasants tell you that several years ago someone took this skillful musician to an evening gathering during the dead of night. He hadn't been seen since. Nice. Our sin counter, minus one. Leave the location. Okay. Okay, that was odd. My recording had just paused, so I needed to restart it. I hope everything is okay. I guess I will find out in a bit. 
Let's move now to Alimov Forest. I heard a hermit lived in these woods of Bakshi origin. A handy fellow. He decorated doors and stoves and could do a lot of other different things. He died a while ago, but people still remember him. You walk through the forest. Grim trees hang from all sides and strange noises are coming from the dark of the night. You freeze with fear when you notice two demons near an unearthed grave. They've already opened the coffin and are methodically skinning the dead body. Okay, we could interfere, could walk around, or we could watch them work. I think I would like to interfere because I don't think that's very nice. Overcoming disgust, you open the black book. The first saga four will be yours. Forest demons. Eloquence. Something, something. Oh, I couldn't read it quickly enough. Oh, here. Eloquence black. Increase the burst effect of black pages for one. Vampirism heals two when enemy loses health. But we only start with three shield. And both enemies are setting out to attack with five and two. Eighteen and eleven. So I think we want to start with Bless, which brings our total shield up to 5, so that blocks 1. Okay, good. Let's do... Yeah, let's do Waste on this one, because he has the larger health pool, and then let's create the other shields as well. To make sure that we're not getting damaged right away. Although, because we're gonna make because we're gonna do damage later on. Maybe it's time to test out the... Let's use firm then. Oh, sorry. Didn't click this properly. <clears throat> I wanna see if things like Scorch it, so damage over time, if that also impacts our vampirism and gives us health back. So let's try it. Oh, and that was it already for eloquence. Okay. Right, so because now we have lock, so we already have two black cards on there, which is nice. What's this? Removes positive status. Oh, so you could potentially remove our bless. That's not great. Firm and piety increases shield value in pages for three. We definitely gonna use this one. And let's try. We're only missing two at the moment, but let's try and go with one. No, you know what? This one and this one. So we have two dots. Yes, plus one. Oh, vampirism and bless are already cancelled? That's so weird. Okay. Oh, and I, com oh, I completely forgot Nikolai's backhand. George the Father, well versed and bless. Let's use this one. Oh, and one more. That's the only one with the key that I have left. Yeah, but we didn't regain health. Hmm. I'm a little bit disappointed, I'm not gonna lie. I need to read the item description for the vampirism again. Firmer than stone. Transactor for one turn. All enemies, three damage all enemies. Once in five. Two shield. I'm gonna go with this one. Six rubles, seventy-five experience. Nice. Having dealt with the demons, you look around. A narrow trail stretches from the grave to the forest. You remember hearing about this place. This overgrown trail leads to an old cemetery. Leave the location. Well, let's check it out. 
This cemetery is far from Yanidor, and that's why it is not used anymore. There's a new one, closer to the village. All the better for me to safely conduct business. Ah, we did. Maybe I can still do that. You know about a cemetery nearby and decide to visit. The tombstones that stand among the trees are enveloped in a grey fog. You look around, expecting an ambush, but everything is eerily quiet. Let me have a quick look at the items. Gain plus two vampirism on battle start. Oh, on battle start. Oh. Okay, so it's my fault. I didn't pay attention. Okay. I thought it was a lasting effect. I guess not. Um, so we have a couple of options now. Gather cemetery soil, look at the crosses, read a prayer. Everything's quiet. Why would I read a prayer? Could be extra careful and do it. Let's do it. You pray for the repose of the souls that lie in the cemetery. The night is silent. You calm down and rest a bit. Oh, nice. Look at the crosses. You walk around the overgrown cemetery and look at the grave crosses while thinking of all the deaths that made the city of the dead. Who knows, maybe Ikotniks were around in earlier times. Maybe some are buried here. Okay, yeah, we had this earlier. And now we have a new entry. Ikota history. The first mention of Ikota occurred in 1785 when Bishop Venna Venyamin of Arkhangelsk and Kolmogorsk in his address to the Synod described this ailment as a special kind of evil eye and possession. Also in his address, the cleric connected Ikota to the beliefs of the ancient nation of Chud which was situated along the shores of the Pinega River and worshipped pagan gods. In 1862, an uprising took place in Pinega and Mezen, during which an angry mob burned down several houses where, it was believed, Kulduns dwelt who brought Ikota upon local women. Well... Uh, and we can gather cemetery soil. Cemetery soil. Dead soil thrice enchanted beneath the light of the moon. Your first Zagabo always has an earth page. You're in luck. The grave diggers have recently dug up a grave. It stands open, black and hungry, yet unoccupied. You scoop a small amount of fresh cemetery dirt into a sack and whisper some Zagabos. This soil will make your witchcraft stronger, but plus one sin. Okay, let's leave the location, because we already said a prayer and don't think we need another. Earth. Firm three. <laughs> yeah, like I said, not the best explanations. Let's go to the Eastern Bridge. You can get to the swamps from the east via this bridge, conveniently called the Eastern Bridge. They say people hear strange noises at night over there. I should check it out. You hear a whip crack, shrieking in pain. Some unfortunate soul is being driven to hell by a devil. You pause in hesitation. Is this sinner's soul worth a fight? Fight for the sinner. Walk around them. How do we know that it is a sinner? It's a bit presumptuous, no? Is it not? I mean, I said before, I think our good playthrough is pretty much in the bin already. Yeah, let's walk around them. The web cracks soon die down in the distance. The sinner probably got what he deserved. Well, Stephen's stone. This ravine is home to a holy stone. The people of Yanidor say that Stephen of Perm himself left his mark on that stone. Well, let's check it out then. In the shady ravine lies a great stone. It has the mark of a foot on its top that's filled with morning dew. There are quite a few candles around it. Here and there you notice offerings from the peasants of Yanitor. Drink the dew, 
take the offerings or leave the location. I'm not gonna take the offerings, but I might, I might just, just nestle my lips in the dew. You drink the holy water and feel a surge of strength and confidence. Oh, health restored, nice. Not that we needed it, but still. Lulvin swamps. Near the village of Yanidoi there lie the beautiful Lulvin swamps. It's dangerous there. Old Degor says that demons dwell in these swamps. It means that I can catch them for my book. Well, it seems like in this area particularly, there's demons everywhere anyway. So we might as well just check it out. You see a swamp ahead. The damp soil squishes under your feet. You become cold and uncomfortable. Suddenly, a white ghost of a calf appears from the bog. It looks at you and does not move. Hit the calf, protective, or run away. We are gonna use a protective sucker ball. You read a protective sucker ball and the ghost disappears. When you finish your sorcery, you realize that this calf was, in fact, a treasure. Striking it would make the calf fall apart into coins. You notice the burning eyes of demons nearby. Are they guardians of this treasure? Okay. So we didn't get the money and we have to fight. Oh well. <laughs> This time though we make sure that we use Nikolai right away. On the guy that has the larger health pool. And then blessing. More blessing. And we're gonna use a hit of two on him. He's already almost gone, which is nice. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. To a Greer, Babushka, and a Lock. Oh, he's on six now. Hmm. Yeah, that's gonna hurt a bit. Okay. I think I can just kill him. Yeah, there we go. Another avoid or three on all enemies. I think I'm gonna go with this now. Five rubles and 100 experience, very nice. Okay. Looks like we're already at the, uh, the final destination, which is good. So, Yanido, willful people live in this village. Some of the peasants were compelled to work the Pohodushin plants, but they revolted as it was too far away and inconvenient to work there. All right. Yanido is covered with a bright pre-dawn mist. Amid the hollow silence, you hear sounds of the village waking up. With all the ghost directions, you quickly find the house of Edokia for Kovna. Nikolai knocks on the carved gates and you are soon greeted by the hostess. Greet of Dokia. Or you Dokia? Eudokia for Kovna. God bless. God bless. God bless indeed. And who might you be? We've come to speak to your daughter. Ha! <laughs> Came to make fun of my Aquilina. I won't let you. Leave us alone. Oh. I 
It says a new entry, but I don't know which one. Double belief? No. Ikoto? No, we've had this before. Mystery? Ikotnix? Oh, maybe this one. Those possessed by Ikoto were called Ikotnix. At one time, there were so many people suffering from this strange malady that some scientists thought Ikoto to be hereditary. Women succumbed to Ikoto more frequently, and it sometimes passed from one housewife to another, devolving into a kind of mass hysteria. Old believers treated Ikoto rather violently, without the aid of magic or prayer. Women suffering from Ikoto were starved, beaten with wooden rods, baited with dogs and trained bears, drenched with ice water and left out to freeze. Those who survived returned to their homes and never suffered from Ikota again. Wow. Not surprised. Okay. We want to help. We wouldn't dare. We want to help her. Help her? Many have tried. None have succeeded. What makes you think you can? Let's try and convince her. I know how much your daughter is suffering. That's why I want to help. I know how. <sighs> Very well. Couldn't hurt, I suppose. Surely couldn't get any worse. My girl suffers from a cota day and night. Akulina hides in the old church of Transfiguration at night. The cota is not so violent there. That's where you'll find her. Thank you. Don't worry about your daughter. We will help. Well. God willing, God willing. Goodbye, you dog here for governor. Well, we certainly won't bait her with bears and dogs. Oh, I guess that's the church. The old church of transfiguration. A grim shadow in the crimson twilight of the early hours. The domes of this building tower silently over you. Hundreds of years and dozens of generations have passed under its roof. You can feel the wisdom stored within these majestic walls. Let's have a look around first, because I can already see a few herbs that we hopefully will be able to collect. Tearlick herb, which is in Cauldron's treasure, this herb. Articulacy, orders one. Then there's one over there. Oh, there's another one over here. Hmm. Adam's head. Fantastic. I really like this one so far. Straightforward. Oh, there's a broken icon. An icon. Someone must have knocked it off the porch. Another Tulik herb. Okay. Church entrance. Nikolai. Transfiguration Church. Don't think we can move much further. Doesn't seem. This is where we came from, obviously. No. Let's uh, briefly talk to Nikolai. The sun is rising, yet I don't feel any less frightened. Yeah, I hear you. Transfiguration Church. Wooden domes reflect silver light in the rising sun. Before we click on the entrance, I just want to check this item that we found. That was the cemetery soil. This one. Increases the number of Zuckerwars. Oh. Of, sp of orders in your Zuckerwar for one turn. Okay. So instead of two, I can call three. That's good. Old stairs lead inside the church. I guess we're done looking around, so... Step inside. Oh god. Most likely another big fight. It makes my skin crawl. Perhaps because an Ikota dwells here. Oh, there's another... Royal eyes. 
Some simpletons who are considered to be miracle workers prize this herb for its love-binding properties and use it to fool people who are blinded by love. Replenish 21! Wow, that's really, really good. That makes me worried even more. Iconostasis sculpture. Let's look at the sculpture. The wooden sculpture looks majestic and enigmatic. Well, the iconostasis has collapsed partially, as if it suffered a strong northern gale. The royal gates are crooked and no longer bar the entrance to the altar. It looks like some of the icons were torn out on purpose. Some of them stand facing the wall. <sighs> no point turning back now. Let's enter the gates. In the dim light, you notice a heap of rags where the Ikutnitsa Kulina lays. She seems to be sleeping. From time to time, the girl shudders from nightmares sent by the short to haunt her. Wake her up. You call out to the girl. She jolts up and darts the outer corner. Even amidst the gloom, you notice the way her arms are shaking. Greet the Ikutnitsa. Who are you? Oh wow, she looks awful. Don't hurt me, please. Frighten her and grab the cross now. Let's calm her down. Don't be afraid, Akulina dear. We won't harm you. I'm Vasya and this is Kolya. We want to help you. Let's talk about the Ikota first. We heard you have an Ikota. Yeah, they say I have a chort inside me torments me. Can we talk to it? I can't make Proshka come out. He'll come out when he wants to. Okay. Let's talk about the cross. We need your cross for something important. Can you trade it to us? What am I to do without a cross? Proshka will eat me alive without it. I'll trade you mine. I have two of them. One was given to me at birth, and another I found the other on the battlefield. Let's talk about this Proshka. Tell us about your chort. What's there to tell? Sometimes he crawls out. Sometimes he can do some sorcery. The other kids make fun of me. The girl starts to whimper. Let's try if we can exercise this. We can get rid of Proshka rid of him? Really? But he won't leave by himself. Don't worry. I think I know how to draw his attention. I have to make the Ikota mad enough so that he leaves Akulina. How can I anger this particular short? Cross, icons, prayer or incense? I wonder if it's the icons. Because you know there was one already outside that was broken and then inside here. Let's try this. Yes! The broken icon at the entrance and the defaced icon iconostasis here are not coincidental. It seems like he doesn't like icons, that Proshka of yours. Yes, he made me the face the icons here. I'll draw a circle and we'll start. You sit Takulina in front of the iconostasis and Nikolai puts the icons into place. You start to read a Sogobor. You learned it long ago, but your memory doesn't fail you. The words of the spell ring out with a thundering echo. You almost manage to finish the ritual when Akulina suddenly pushes you. Taken by surprise, your incantation of magic words stops. The girl starts to convulse. The Ikota has emerged out of her. Looks like a cat. <laughs> ha! You call yourself exorcists? This saga voice dated. No one uses that commandment now. What kind of witch are you? So out of fashion, yuck! Christ's kingdom. It's impolite to make mention of such kingdoms in front of demons. I'll have you know. And you can't just go displaying icons. I hate icons. Yeah. 
Let's talk about the cutter. So you're the cutter trot. So what if I am? Ain't I fine? Looking like a feline? What did you expect? A frog or something? We need a Colina's cross. Yes, I've heard. I need lots of things too. Tell you what, witch. If you beat me, I might even do both. Give you a cross and leave the girl. Let's first ask you some other questions. No, tell me something else. Aquilina. Why do you haunt Aquilina? Why do you torture the girl? That's no business of yours. Well, on the other hand, I don't have anything else to do. Why not tell you? I love how the um, expression of it changes. Okay, tell me. You see, I study demons. They fascinate me. There's nothing to tell, really. Yanidor used to be a wealthy churchyard near the springs. Merchants used to request prayers of thanks in this church when they returned from the north. I was once the Setko of this church. Oh, the hospital, okay. Why would a church have a Susetko? Why not? The abandoned ones have much scarier things inside. Or am I not good enough? But now? No one lives here, and no one visits the church. They only go to the stone one. So I crawled inside Aquilina out of boredom. Won't you leave the girl alone? I might leave her if you beat me. Alright, I guess there's no way around it, but let's talk about the icons. So, why don't you like icons? Have you seen many chorts that do? Or maybe we should open a church. We could call it Saint Chort, eh? You're a smart girl. Figured out that I don't like icons. They make me mad as hell. It's not that I'm against this new church, but you could at least make do without icons, right? These drawings, not my cup of tea, gives me shivers. Alright. So be it, Proshka. Here I come, Vasilisa. Alright, weird cat lady. Critical health, get inside. Nikota is inside the girl. If you kill the demon now, the girl will die. Well, that's a duration of three. And she has 150 health, so it's again one where, yeah, it's gonna take us a while anyway. So it's not gonna attack, so we can... Yeah, what's the best thing to do? Strength plus five, ward five increases attack of each page for five. Wow, okay. I definitely want to have bless as well. Scorch it, yes, 100%. Shield increases the number of keys in the book in the next round. Let's take this then. Vampirism has already stopped. She's blessing herself now. Demonic strength. Okay. Holy shoot. 17. Yeah, it's gonna be painful. Blessing of the lie. We can do this anyway. And then firm and piety or once and forever.
increases the value. Let's do this one then. Oh, it didn't change though. Oh shoot, yeah, that's gonna be painful. We need to pay attention to what she does. Okay, it's coming down. It's 11 now. That's still mighty strong, though. Waste less ward. So now would be an opportunity, if she was lower on health, of course, where we could kill her. So we need to pay attention to this cat symbol. Okay, once and forever. Shield, shield. Remove negative status. We don't have negative status at the moment. Three, four still has waste on it, so let's go with this. Let's do this because it gives us three hearts. This is one more. But this is this lasts one round, right? Remains active for one turn, so we get four shields total rather than just three. Let's do this. I have to wait. Okay. Get away from my Aquilina. Away with you, demon. 13 again, so it's getting more damage. Oof, Jesus. Okay, so he can attack, which we will do. We're still good on health, but we... We have almost no shield. It increases shield for three turns at the beginning of each round, so let's use this one. And let's use a Gria and a Scorchet. But this will hurt. But we still have some herbs as well that we can use, so... Oh no, it does work right away. That's still seven damage, right? now happening. Oh, now it does this incantation thing again. So let's use this to heal up. This, this. This. Oh. Oh, it's just the two of them. Oh, this is so pointless. Shame. Oh, wait. Let's use this one then. Sorry. PAT increases shield value and pages for three. And ward increases for five turns at the beginning of each round. Nice. So three rounds. But we won't kill her in three rounds anyway, so. We just need to make sure. Blessing again, oh wow. So we need to prepare when she attacks again. Bless. Okay. Ooh, very nice. <laughs> Fifteen. Ooh. Yeah, I still don't fully understand how this works. Hmm. 
Okay, so we blocked out everything, which is awesome. He can attack again, that's another 5. She does 50 now. Okay, shield, shield. So her award gives her three shield at the beginning of each round, but why is this... Why is this four? Why is this additive? I don't get this. It increases attack of each page for two. So eleven again. We have nothing to protect us right now. Ooh. This is gonna hurt. Let's do Scorch it, Orazi, and Lock. So we have one more next round. But yeah, that's well, increases to the beginning. Well, at least two, but it's still gonna be nine damage. Hmm. Critical health. Okay. Let's do. This is three all enemies, but if it's only one enemy, and even this does three each turn, so I can just refresh it even though there's still one on there, so... Oh, this... What we do, Razi? This and father's name. Yeah. Okay. At the very least, it's given us some health back, which is good. And again, we won't take... I don't think we will take 75. We're only 50% down on her health, actually, and that's after 12 rounds, so... <laughs> yeah, no way. Parasite's 8, so she's get 20 health back. Oh, Yeah, let's kick her. Yeah, she's gonna get more back than what we've taken away. Oof. Alright, so she has a ton of really, really good, strong skills. And now she's blessing herself again. So we're gonna bless ourselves. And we're gonna do an Orozagi. Oh no, we don't have a... Uh, no. Scorch it helps us more under Ruda. Yeah, it's not a lot, but... Anyhow. Back to 50% of her health. Now a little bit less. And now she's getting her bless. Okay. Ooh. Not great. We need to use an elf. Gria. This. Increase the number of keys in the book by the next round. Yeah, let's do that then. Gonna get 11 damage again. Oh, it's like a truck, that thing. Okay. Thirteen. This one seems really strong. This piety effect is amazing. So we're gonna take that one. Um, yeah. Let's put 
put this one as well and let's refresh our scorch it since we have it. Four, yeah. what I thought. I'll just crawl inside the girl. You won't get me there. Oh no, you won't. I have a sug of with your name on it. Okay. 13 again. Okay. Fourteen defense, so we should be good. Yeah, I think it's because of this piety thing. Yeah. Damn, that's so good. Fifty-five now. Okay. We didn't lose any health. Oh, she does the thing again. Okay, so we need to be mindful of what we're gonna cast now. Not really that many options. Yeah, just... The... Yeah. It's a bit useless because this obviously isn't gonna stay, so... some health back which is good. Those fights are really tough now. God and we're still only looking at the second seal. That's those are the tasks to lift the second seal by the way. <laughs> and there's seven. Increases and blessing again. Okay, so can we Yes we can. symbol is gone, and she's back at 42. well which is great this is now on eight which is nice so every time I get this card it does actually add two more damage so this is getting stronger and stronger so I should really be playing this every single chance I get and because I have blessed still active for one more round it gets an additional one okay what if I take this out first and I do oh but she's gonna hit with 15 Seven defense, that's still eight. 
Let's try it. Okay, 31 now. Getting there. Twenty-two rounds already. Thirteen again. Okay, but this... Ten shield. Still gives me three damage, but I can take another up. on equal footing now. Well, almost. But now I have to be mindful not to kill her. Oh, she's gonna heal herself up again. At least we're healing a little bit as well. Yeah, 44 again. Wow, that's our max health, so thank you very much. So attack, that's 5. a lot better. Now she's got her blessing again. Oh, she's gonna hurt again. 16 now. So, time for another scorch it. An ally and a rubber to at least soften the blow somewhat. Oh, actually, oh. Oh, because I have piety active again. because it increases each of the values by three. All right. Okay. It's gonna hit us with 13. We have nothing to stop her from that un unless we can take off 22. We can't. 16. Seven rubies, seven hundred experience, level five. Oh no, new level but plus five. Wait, wait, wait! Don't finish me off, Asya. I'll 
tell you what, I'll leave Aquilina and come work for you. I can be useful, you see. I won't harm anyone. I'll be good. Work for me? I have plenty of chords already. Well, I'm not exactly a chort. I can be of use. Like Susetko, in fact. Actually, we don't have a Susetko. That's not such a bad idea. What would Grandpa say to that? Alright, I'll take you. But you better watch it. No joking around. Proshka leaves Akulina, climbs your left shoulder, and then vanishes into black flames. Akulina's cross. This is the cross won by Akulina when she was possessed by Proshka, one of the items needed to rescue the girl from the Banya. The girl grumbles and falls down, exhausted. Her face looks calm and serene. Proshka won't poison her life anymore. You switch out Nikolai's cross for that of the Ikutnitsa. The crucifix looks old and rotten. The demon's power has left its mark. You hope that Akulina's soul was left untouched by it. New item. One of the items. Okay. What do we have here? Knowledge. Oh, we've got a new level. Hmm. Knowledge of keys. Increase number of keys in your saga war by one. Water learning level 19. Okay. They just deal one more damage. Help of saints, yeah. Level 3. I kind of want to open the last item slot. I really think they are super valuable, so I'm just gonna go with that. And now what do we have? Firm 3. Or deals 2 damage each turn. Ignoring. Yeah. Still something new. What's this? Royal eyes. Some symptoms are considered to be miracle workers. Prize the serp for its love pen. Oh, the one that we found outside. Yes. I purposefully left this one as like a, you know, kind of an oh shit card that we could still pull out as a last trick. But, um, okay. Return home. Excellent, so we got the second out of the three items. This took a while again, so I'm guessing the third one will be a tough fight as well. Now we have a cross. You see, Vasya, ask and you shall receive. A big deal, a demon's cross. So Setkas don't shun crosses either, I presume. But on the other hand, we could do without this rattlebox chort. Who are you calling a rattlebox? Hush, Prashka. Don't be angry, Grandpa. He may be of use to us yet. Alright, we'll see if it works out. The only thing left to do is visit the spinner. I see Lisa and I are going to see the spinner. There's nothing for you to do there, Kolya. Understand? Sure did. And one more thing. Don't say anything about the Banya or the Bride. The spinner can't stand demons, though she looks like one herself. Got it? Alright. Good. So the last item for us to get. And um, yeah, hopefully this will lead us to at least release the second circle. Um, again, considering that there's seven in total, this looks like it's going to be a relatively lengthy let's play. Hmm. We'll see. Maybe some of the quests will go a little bit quicker. And I guess, of course, there's a detriment because I always like to explore everything. Um, we have to check. Maybe I can speed some of the things up. But I am going to take a pause here again. I think um, good accomplishment. It's a nice clean cut. And the next time we will jump right back in at this point where we hopefully We'll get the last item and, um, yeah, free the Banya from her, well, from the place where she's bound at the moment and, well, probably witness the marriage to uh, lovely Kolya over here. But anyway, I thank you very much for joining me again. Hope you're enjoying this. Um, again, uh, I said the last time already, if it's too annoying that I read out everything, I'm also more than happy to turn on the voices again. So just let me know if you 
much rather have that. Um, otherwise, thank you for being here, and I hope to see you again on the next one. Until then, look after yourself, take care, bye bye.